Well, I got some more comments from the homie Josh, so appreciate that, Josh. Um, in regards to a snafu or origato, as they call it. So yeah, I got some more comments about that. Let me ask you this, dude: Are the light novels out to buy in English? Yeah. As far as you know, are they available in English to purchase? I haven't looked it up, so I could just look it up instead of just asking like a douche. But whatever. But uh, yeah, I got some more comments. So yeah, I, <laughs> you know I got to talk about it. So basically, from what I was told in these uh, comments, was that one, it was a shock factor. You know what I'm saying? That played into um, into Hikigaya's reaction towards Iroha and uh, uh, Hayato's sort of situation. Um, especially because certain one part of the dialogue that I read in that comment was that Hikigaya pretty much said something kind of like, you know, well, if you knew that this was gonna hurt her, why didn't you just pity date her? Why didn't you just date her out of pity? Because you knew that this shit was gonna happen. So I was just kind of like, okay, so he was more shocked that Hayato purposefully sort of hurt someone in a way because uh, he didn't reciprocate her feelings even though he could have just dated her out of pity or out of sympathy and just moved on with his fucking life so there's that um now again I just gotta I just gotta go into you know my rant mode for a minute so you know here we go right <laughs> but um Okay, so pretty much, just from the comments that I read, or whatever, I mean, I've already knew this, I've always known this, I've always said this, but this was serious confirmation that Hayato is jealous, for the most part, of Hikigaya. He is jealous of that motherfucker. And I don't know if it has something to do, because I did read that sort of stuff, I don't know if it has something to do with the history between him and Yukino, you know, uh, where she was bullied or some shit like that, and um, Hayato did nothing. He just kind of stood by, it, like his character would do. He was sitting there as pussy, so of course he wouldn't do anything. He wouldn't take a stand, right? I don't know if it has something to do with that specifically, or if it's just the fact that um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what it is. More honestly, like I was thinking that. Maybe it's because Hikigaya can see the fakeness in people, and that's something that, you know, Hayato himself has tried to portray this whole time as him being this goody goody sort of person. And Hayato, I mean, uh, Hikigaya can kind of see through that shit, you know, I don't know. Because even, like, okay, wait a minute, hold on, I just thought about this shit. When, when he confessed, when um, Hayato confessed, not really confess, but they asked Tobey asked him who did he like. Just give me an, an initial, and he said why. What he was talking about Yuki No, right? Or was he talking about Haruna? And he was making a reference to their last name. I don't know. Was was he talking about Haruna? Was he talking about Yuki No? I'm assuming it was Yuki No because they have a history together, but they all have history together, so I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because it would seem as though. You know, um, Hayato is just sort of, I, I'm not saying that he wants to be Hikigai, but it's obvious that he has some self-hatred. So, I don't know who he wants to be. I don't know what he wants to do as a character, who he wants to be as a man. I don't know. I don't know where this character is being written into. You know what I'm saying? I hope he gets written the fuck out of the series and no one questions it. If in the next light novel his character was gone and no one questioned it, thumbs up. I would buy several copies of that shit. You know what I'm saying? And just give them all away as gifts for free. I don't give a fuck. I hate, I hate that character. You know. But um, I also read that. I, I think I think I knew that. I think I did. I wasn't shocked when I read, it, but I think I did. Uh, Hayato said that she wasn't confessing to him. I'm not the person in your heart who this confession was made for. So, by that, he was insinuating that she, that confession was meant for Ikigaya. And if so, how did he come to that conclusion? That's what I want to know. Like, how did Hayato come to the conclusion that Iroha didn't really like him? I, that's, I just want to know that because I've never seen 
the three of them interact with one another to where he would have been able to see how she would act around him. I mean, the only thing I think of it maybe because she was being herself around him and she would and she kept trying to be the cutesy sort of girl around Hayato. Maybe that's what led him to that conclusion. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But so I mean, you know what though? I, I like that though, man. I, I, I honestly do hope that Iroha likes um Hachiman. I do. I hope that she does like Hachiman. I hope that she throw that she gets thrown into the service club. Not as a member, but that she shows up more and more and more as a member of the service club. I really do. I hope that happens. I honestly would have liked it if pretty much most of the people who we helped and fucked with and fuck with came to the service club. Not all of them, of course. I don't want Hayato there. Tobe can stay where he's at. And the other blonde girl, she can also stay where she's at. Ibina can show up if she wants to. Iroha can come. What's the girl's name um, with the silver hair? What is her name? I can't remember her name. The one who was working at the bar as the bartender, this girl. If she wanted to show up, she can too. Okay, because I, like I like those characters. Okay? But those three who I said should stay away, please stay away. Especially Hayato. Don't, don't, don't ever show up. Don't ever show up. Hayato and that blonde girl deserve each other. Now that I'm thinking about it. They deserve each other. Because she's superficial as fuck. She is superficial as fuck. And other than his quote-unquote looks, Hayato has nothing to offer because he doesn't have a personality. He doesn't have a spine for the most part because he stands up for the wrong fucking thing all the fucking time. And now that he's trying to get one, he has no identity. He doesn't even know who the fuck he is. So it's just like, other than your face, what the fuck can you offer this girl? Nothing. And she's superficial as fuck. So all she care about is your face. Y'all belong together. So yeah, please creator of this of this series make those two pair together or make it that Hayato you know what make it that Hayato saves Hachiman right from getting like jumped or some shit and these dudes whoop Hayato's ass so bad that his face gets slightly fucked up to the point to where this part of his head the brim where his brow is is permanently frowned down so now he's stuck with the Hachiman eyes he stuck with the permanent frown on his face, the dead fish eyes. I want to see that. That would be dope. Speaking of the dead fish eyes thing, can someone ask me this? Is has Hashiman's face always looked like that? Because I was rewatching season one, and when they show him as a kid, they block out his eyes. So he must not have always had the sort of dead pan. I don't give a fuck expression. His eyes must have been full of life, and just living the way that he lived, just beat him down. To the point to where he just abandoned his hopeful look in his eyes. I just want to know. That'd be dope if that happened. But let me know what you guys think about this shit, though, man. Fresh and